There is a crown in the sky that represents one of Greek mythology's most joyful love stories. The constellation of the Northern Crown can be found between the constellations of Boötes and Hercules. It appears as a U or C shape just to the left of the herdsman. The city of Athens had lost a war to Crete. The terms were, every nine years, Athens would have to sacrifice fourteen children to the Cretan Minotaur, a creature with the body of a man and the head of a bull that lived in a labyrinth. The prince of Athens, Theseus, decided that he would try to put an end to that. He took the place of one of the children who was to be sacrificed and sailed for Crete. When Theseus arrived, the princess of Crete, Ariadne, instantly fell in love with him. She agreed to help him if, in return, he would marry her and bring her with him to Athens. Theseus agreed, and so Ariadne gave him two things, a thread to help him find his way out of the labyrinth, and a sword to smuggle in with him to combat the Minotaur. When Theseus entered the labyrinth, he tied one end of the thread to a doorpost, and laid it down as he walked so he could find his way back. Theseus found and defeated the Minotaur, and followed the thread back. He then successfully escaped, together with Ariadne. On their way back, though, Theseus decided that he didn't want to marry Ariadne. Theseus's ship stopped at an island on the return trip, and there they abandoned Ariadne. Ariadne was overcome with grief and rage. She had given up everything for Theseus. But scarcely after Theseus' ship had left, Ariadne was found by the god of celebration, Dionysus. Dionysus and Ariadne fell in love with each other at first sight. Dionysus gave Ariadne a splendid crown to express his love for her. When the two were married, Dionysus jubilantly threw the crown into the sky so that the couple's love and devotion for each other would be commemorated for all the world to see. Later, when Ariadne died, Dionysus journeyed into the underworld to retrieve her. Afterwards, the couple lived jubilantly together as god and goddess.